Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a tutorial for you today and it's on this look right here. So it's a very cool toned sort of a makeup look and I actually used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, which is a pretty warm toned palette overall. And I have done another look with this palette and it was very kind of like um, dramatic and just a more intense eye look and it was very warm toned. So I was playing with this palette one day and came up with a kind of cool toned look and I paired it with a very cool toned gray lip and I just liked how it all kind of came together. So yeah, I thought I would film this look for you guys. So if you want to see how to get it, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm going to start by priming my eyes. Today I'm using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Now as a base, I'm actually going to use an eyeliner. This is the Inglot Eyeliner Gel in number 94. And I'm just applying this onto my lids. This really isn't necessary, but this is what I did the first time I did this look. So we're going with it. I'm going to go in with my Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to get some of Buen Fresco on a Sedona Lace EB15 brush. And I'm going to apply this into my crease and transition area. And now for just a little bit of warmth, I'm going to get some of Burnt Orange on an e.l.f. Professional Blending Eye Brush. And I'm going to apply this kind of on the lower part of my crease, sort of still where we applied that, but I'm not blending it up as much. That's why I'm using a smaller crease brush and I'm kind of keeping that low. I just want the tiniest little bit of warmth to kind of mix in there. So it kind of helps balance out all the cool tones. And then I'm going back in with a little bit of Buen Fresco. Un fresco, <laughs> just to kind of meld these colors together. Now for my lid color, I'm going to get some of Vermeer on a small concealer brush. This is one of the Wet n Wild brushes. I really like this brush. And I'm going to apply this wet. So I'm going to use a little bit of MAC Fix Plus, spray my brush, and apply it onto my lid like that. And I'm concentrating this on like half to two thirds of my lid. Then for my outer corner, I'm going to use some of Cypress Umber. Yes, yeah, Cypress Umber on a small crease brush. This is from, I think, CVS. I'll link it for you guys. And I'm just applying this right into my outer corner, blending just the tiniest little bit. This is pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way. We really just want to give our eyes dimension, but we don't want to bring that over too, too far. So I'm just applying it and kind of meeting it with those other colors. Now for liner today, I'm going to tight line with my L'Oreal Infallible Never Fail Eyeliner, and this is in Noir. And then I'm going to do some winged liner with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm using my IT Cosmetics Superhero. For this look, I want a really clean lower lash line, so I'm not going to use anything there except for a little bit of mascara. I'm using my Clinique Bottom Lash. And I just realized I have not done a brow bone highlight yet, so I'm going to get some of Tempura on a Pure Minerals or Pure Cosmetics now eyeshadow brush. Okay, moving on to the rest of my face. So I've already applied foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, brows, and now for blush, I'm gonna use my Benefits Rock Couture. 
I know I use this a lot in tutorials, but it just goes with everything. So that's why I love to use it. And I'm applying it with a Studio Gear number 13 brush. Then for a highlight, I'm gonna use my Ofra Cosmetics Beverly Hills Highlighter. This is amazing, it is so pretty. And I'm using my Delium Tools 944 to apply it. I'm gonna actually just concentrate my brush everywhere except for the bronze color, just to kind of keep it light and bright. And I'm literally just like barely tapping because it's so pigmented. Then for lips today, I'm gonna to use my Maybelline Loaded Bolds in Gone Grage. All right guys, so that's a finished looking tutorial. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what kind of looks you like to create with your Modern Renaissance palette or what some of your go-tos are for a cool tone kind of a look. I would love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.